Thank you for joining me today for New Book Friday. I am so thrilled to have you here with me today. And for parents, if you would like your child to receive a shout out in our next New Book Friday, feel free to send us an email. I'll go ahead and leave that down below in the description and we would be more than happy to do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with our hello song. And remember to say friends in sign language. Grab your two index fingers and have them give each other tight warm hugs for friends. And then you stretch your arm outward. And go for a salute to say hello in sign language. All right, here we go. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. Okay, great job. With permission from Simon and Schuster, Out of Nowhere by Chris Naylor Ballesteros. So that means Chris Naylor Ballesteros wrote the story and also did the illustrations for the book we are reading together today. Once I had a friend she arrived out of nowhere one day. I asked her where she'd come from, but she just didn't know. She stayed with me and every day we shared a picnic on the big rock, looking out over the forest. So here we have a beetle specifically a rhino beetle because of the beetle's horns. And we also have what is known as a caterpillar. And what color is the caterpillar? You are correct. The caterpillar is red. Then at the end of each day, we would watch the moon come up together. What is the beetle doing? I hope you can see there. Absolutely, the beetle is sleeping. The beetle must have been very tired that day. Okay, so our caterpillar friend is below the cliff and turning into a cocoon. And when caterpillars turn into a cocoon, they sleep for a very, very, very long time. But one morning, I woke up and my friend was nowhere to be seen. I looked everywhere. And where is the caterpillar at? Yep, absolutely, underneath the cliff. And at last, there was my friend lost deep in the forest. Does this look like the caterpillar that we're having trouble finding? No, this is something else entirely different. And the caterpillar is still 
in a cocoon under the cliff. Now, I know I look very strong with my tough shell and spiky horns. The truth is sometimes I don't feel very strong at all. But if I wanted to find my friend, I just have to pretend. I packed a very big picnic and set off. And the caterpillar, who is currently a cocoon, is still under the cliff. I really hope the beetle figures out that his friend's right here. I sang a song to myself to feel a little bit stronger. I'm a beetle and don't you know, I'm not afraid of a hungry crow. Yes, I'm a beetle and can't you see, fearsome frogs don't frighten me. Oh, I'm a beetle and er, haven't you heard, I'll keep singing till, till I run out of words. No one bothered me much, so I think it worked. Crows are very fascinating birds. They don't make like they don't make the usual tweet 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 sound. They actually go caw caw caw. And do you happen to know what sound a frog makes? Good job. They go ribbit ribbit ribbit. And then, just when my big, brave song finally ran out of words, I was there. But I realized I'd made a very big mistake. Do these look like caterpillars to you? No. These are known as mushrooms. And a mushroom is a type of fungus and they grow in woods or grassy areas where there is plenty of moisture. So moisture is, is water. And a fungus, so it is known as a simple organism that is neither a plant or an animal. Look at this. What happened to our cocoon? That's right, the cocoon turned into a butterfly. And that is a process known as a metamorphosis. So now the caterpillar is a beautiful butterfly. I had no idea where my friend was. But it looks like the beetle's friend may have an idea where the beetle is. Let's go ahead and find out together. I was tired and it was a very long way back to the big rock. So I decided to stay for a while just until I got my strength back. And then, out of nowhere, someone suddenly arrived. And who arrived? That's right, the beetle's friend, who is now a butterfly. I felt as if I'd seen her before, but at first I couldn't quite put my finger on where. 
Then I looked more closely and I just knew it was my friend. She had changed a little bit, but it was my friend all the same. We shared my picnic just like before. We did the same the day after and the day after that. And today too, it's just like before on the big rock. Then at the end of the day, we take off to watch the moon come up together. And my friend is with me again out of nowhere. The end. That was a very exciting book to read together. And we even learned new words as well. And so this book actually came out just a few days ago. So it is a brand, brand new book. And I was so happy to share it with you all today. Okay, and now we'll go ahead and do our early literacy activity from the PLA's 2021 Early Literacy Activities Calendar, we will be singing a song called Five Little Froggies, just like the frog from the story from earlier. So go ahead. I'll go ahead and have my little froggies up here with me. All right, and here we go. Five little froggies sat on shore one went for a swim. And then there were one, two, three, four. Four little froggies looked out at sea. One went swimming. And then there were one, two, three. Three little froggies said, what can we do? One jumped in the water. And then there were one, two. Two little froggies sat in the sun. One swam off. And then there were one, one little froggy said, this is no fun. He dived into the water. And then there were none. So they all swam together in the water. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. And I hope to see you next week. Take care. Bye.